Hello, my name's Sam and I'm a specialist children's worker, part of the 565 service at St Elizabeth Hospice. The 565 service covers East Suffolk and provides bereavement support to children, young people and their families whose loved one has died from a progressive or life-limiting illness. And the service also provides pre-bereavement support where a loved one is known to the hospice. Talking to children about death and dying can feel challenging and books could be a really useful way of introducing the topic. It could be a starting point to facilitate further discussion. There are so many fantastic books that explore loss and grief and here are some of the books that the 565 team at St Elizabeth Hospice recommends. For younger children in particular, we would suggest reading the book together, allowing lots of time for the child to ask questions and express their thoughts and feelings afterwards. When Dinosaurs Die by Laurie Krasny Brown and Mark Brown, this book addresses the topic of death in a really sensitive, gentle and accessible way. It's ideal for younger children who may not fully grasp the concept of death yet, using really straightforward language to explain what death is. Dinosaurs are used as a metaphor for people so it creates a safe distance from the topic while still allowing children to understand and relate to it. It explores a wide range of feelings including those of sadness, anger and confusion, letting children know that these feelings are normal and okay. I like that it includes information on what to expect after someone dies, which can help prepare children. For example, it covers what to expect at funerals, taking into account different cultures and beliefs. There's also some really good ideas and ways to remember someone who has died. Overall, it explains and explores death in a really sensitive and clear way and allows opportunity for further discussion afterwards. We have I Miss You, A First Look at Death by Pat Thomas. And this is another book aimed at much younger children who may not fully understand what death and dying means. It introduces death in a really simple and compassionate way. And what I really like about it is that at different points throughout the book, it asks questions, inviting the child to uh, talk about their understanding and feelings and who around them is there to support. This helps open up conversation and may also encourage the child to ask questions, which will help fill in the gaps in their understanding. The Hair-Shaped Hole by John Dougherty and Thomas Doherty is a beautiful book looking at the story of two companions, Bertel and Hertel. But one day Bertel wakes up to find his friend is gone, leaving a dark hole. I really like how the book captures the different stages and emotions associated with grief, normalising different responses. With support of Gerda the Bear, Bertel is able to fill the darkness with really happy memories of his friend, showing the child that even when someone we love dies, there are ways of keeping memories alive. And this book really helps children to understand the complexities of grief, creating opportunities to talk this through with whoever they're reading the book with. It also really emphasises the importance of talking about their loss and how the support of those around them can really help. Next we've got The Invisible String by Patrice Cast. This is a really lovely book to read with children as it offers a really gentle and reassuring way to understand and cope with separation and the feeling of loss. It introduces the concept of an invisible connection that binds us to the people we love, even after they're no longer physically present. It can provide comfort to children by reminding them that their loved one will always be a part of them. I really like the simple language that it uses alongside the beautiful illustrations, helping children process all the different emotions surrounding loss. It could be used as a starting point to open up discussion about their loved one and how they will always feel connected to them. You'll Be OK by Judy Stokes is a comforting, relatable and supportive book for young people aged nine and above, and I would say into high school as well, and it just helps them with navigating their grief. It helps explain what grief is and acknowledges the range of emotions that people experience after loss, helping young people feel understood and accepted. It offers reassurance and a sense of hope and optimism for the future, which I really, really like. It also really empowers young people by stressing the importance of self-care, coping strategies and reaching out for help when needed. The language in it is really clear and really easy for young people to follow and understand with pictures to make it more engaging. Young people may prefer to read this alone or um, in their own time or they might want to read it with someone and so you could read it together too. A Monster Caused by Patrick Ness is aimed at teenagers or adults and it follows a young boy called Connor who is struggling to cope with his mother's progressive illness. It really captures the whirlwind that we know that grief can be like, highlighting feelings of anger, fear, guilt and confusion and it does so in a really authentic and relatable way. 
And I like that they've included the presence of a tree-like monster to serve as a metaphor for the really overwhelming nature of grief that we know it can be like. And the monster helps Connor to accept the reality of his mother's illness, finding the strength to face the future. For someone grieving, it can really be a source of comfort, empathy and understanding. And the book's also been turned into a film, so it's really a really good thing to kind of maybe watch together and can be used as a starting point for conversations. Like I said, these are just a few of lots of the brilliant books that are available. For some more recommendations or to find out more about the support that the 565 team offers, take a look at our website. Mm -hmm.